Ade TV KPM. Oh, Farah. Yeah. So, how was the movie? Oh, tell you seriously, mm -hmm. I love the action scenes. I love the storyline. Mm -hmm. I love the choreography of the traditional martial mm -hmm. arts. Me too. It was so mesmerizing. But um, what happened to Wahid's wife? You missed that part? Yeah, she, I didn't see her. What happened? She died, Farah. She she died? She died. You must have missed a lot. That was the uh, most epic part. That was when I went to the washroom. I oh. had my nature call. Remember, you didn't notice I was not sitting next no, to you. No, I was, oh, I was so oh. glued to the screen. I didn't notice. You know what this means? Mm. This means that we should go and watch the movie the second time, Shavika. Yes, we should. Yes, let's bounce. Mm, let's go. Okay. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. You're watching Didi TV KPM here with me, Shafika Farahin. And today we are learning for menengah atas for our subject which is English or Bahasa Inggeris. And to know more about our topic, we should ask our teacher herself who is right here in the studio as you can see in the profile just now, Madam Farah Liza. Hello, Madam. Hi, Shafika. I love your hair. <gasps> Thank you so much. You look super, super... Stunning! Thank you. I hope it was fitting for our uh, short sketch just now. But before we go on to that, mm -hmm. uh, Madam, let's first introduce also in the studio with us is our sign language interpreter, Teacher Kulina from SMK Sultan Abdul Samad, Petaling Jaya, Selangor. Hello, Teacher. How are you? Okay, great. Thank you, Teacher Lina. Now, Madam, we mm. also have our pupils because yes. without them, we wouldn't have a fun class. Exactly, Shafika. So, let's have them here in the studio with us. Hello, pupils. Hi. Wow. <laughs> They're all looking so dapper this uh, morning. Madam, yes. can you introduce them for us? Okay, Shafika. Mm. All right, so we have um, Soleha binti Abdullah in the house. Hi, Soleha. Hi, Soleha. What do you want me to address you, Soleha? Mm -hmm. You can call me Soleha. Soleha. All right. The second one we have Aisha Atika. Okay. Hi, Aisha. Hi, Aisha. Aisha? I think she's a bit okay. mad today. All right. The second one, I mean the third one, the we third have one. Uh, Liliana. So, Liliana, what do you want me to address you, Liliana? Hi, madam. You can call me Lily. All right, okay, Lily. Hi, Lily. Okay. Last but not least, I have Alia Farisha. So, what do you want me to address you, Alia? Hi, um, just call me Alia. Alia. Oh, so, Aisha. Right. Aisha, I think she's free. Uh -huh. um, all right, I think I will call Aisha. Aisha, then. Okay, so we have our pupils here all the way from SMK Bandar Mas, Kota Tinggi, Johor. Wow, all the way from Johor, your school as well. Yes. Beautiful pupils and beautiful names as well, right? Uh, Madam Farah before we proceed with our class today, perhaps you can give a bit of an overview of our short sketch just now and how it relates to our topic today, which we have an introduced yet yes thank mm -hmm. you Shafika well uh, girls and boys viewers out there if you mm -hmm. notice the short sketch that we had just now was like watching a movie now I always tell my students Shafika gap text is exactly like what you do when you go to the cinema mm -hmm. now when you watch movie I'm sure you have experienced this you are like in the middle of like enjoying the scenes and suddenly your younger siblings or maybe your own child mm -hmm ask you to go out and bring them to the washroom. Mm -hmm. So you have no choice. So you have to go yes. out from the cinema. Mm -hmm. But when you come back, you will definitely miss some of the scenes. Mm. And that is where you're going to start having this critical thinking. What happened? Hey, what happened to Wahid's wife? Mm -hmm. And who killed her? How did it happen? So having said that, gap text is exactly using that thinking process where you need to look at what happens or what are the keywords before the gap and mm -hmm. what are the keywords after the gap. So can you see how it links to watching a movie? You have to think of what happens before you go to the washroom and what happens 
after you come back from the washroom, Shafika. Interesting. That means it's not facts. It's not necessarily facts. It can be predictions. Exactly. Ah. So you have to stop thinking of what happens before and after. So that goes definitely on answering gap text. Okay, Madam Farah. Okay. Let's uh, first proceed with our perhaps learning objectives for today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shafika. All right. All right. Now. Girls and boys, viewers out there, now we are going to do reading today, guys. So please open up your textbook, turn to page 4, 137 and 136, 136 and 137 from mm -hmm. your textbook. Okay, so our objectives for today, Shafika, first right. is definitely reading. So it is definitely to understand a variety of texts by using a range of appropriate reading mm -hmm. strategies to construct meaning. So they need to understand what the word means and our main learning standard for main skill would be guessing the meaning of unfamiliar words from clues. Now, this means the keywords provided by other words and by context on a wide range of familiar topics and some unfamiliar topics. Mm -hmm. So, girls and boys, are you guys ready? Fasten your seatbelts because reading is not easy, guys, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to gap. Text, Shafika. Oh, really? Yes, because okay. gap text is considered as one of the most difficult sections in paper one now. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Besides having the rational clause, mm -hmm. gap text is one of the most difficult part. Right. So okay. I hope pupils at home give their very best to focus in Madam Farid's class today. Okay. Yes, Shafika. All right. So our learning outcome will probably will definitely be to understand a variety of texts by applying the crucial steps on identifying the keywords and for them to guess the meaning of unfamiliar words mm -hmm. from clues that will be your keywords, comparing all these options with your relevant keywords. Mm -hmm. So I've been repeating the word keyword, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, now, these are the five crucial steps, girls and boys. Watch this, jot this down. So there are five crucial steps for you to um, execute in order to get the best answer. So the first step, Shafika, is definitely to read the passage twice. I wouldn't know if you read once, but trust me, there is no harm reading twice because the first time reading is for you to get the main idea. Mm -hmm. And the second time reading, Shafika, is for them to identify the subject, whether it's singular, plural, or tenses, whether it's present tense, past tense, future tense. So that can happen if you read the passage twice. Mm -hmm. Now, the next step will be circling the keywords. Well, I'm sure all of you are so familiar with the word circle. <laughs> so they need to circle the keywords before and after the gap. Now, the next step will be they need to study the options. Now, Shafika, for this question, mm -hmm. they'll be given eight options for SPM format. Okay. So they'll be given eight options, A until H. So what they need to do is they need to study the options. Now, relating it to the keywords from the passage that they did in step two. Ah. All right, so they have to relate to the keywords. Now, okay. the next step is definitely to choose the best answer. But this time, girls and boys, viewers out there, do not forget to draw your arrow. Shafika, what mm -hmm. is the arrow for? The arrow mm. is either to the back or to the front. Now, this means if they draw the arrow to the back, mm -hmm. they are referring to the keywords before the gap. Ah. If they draw the arrow to the front, it means they are referring to the keywords after the gap. Okay, straightforward. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, last but not least is definitely to cross the answers once they have already chosen them. So, example, if they chose B, then they have to immediately cross it out. Why, Shafika? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes students tend to repeat the same answer again yeah. and they tend to forget mm -hmm. if they do not check their answers. Mm -hmm. All right. So, now, let us look at uh, a very simple example. So, the first one will be why peer, what's peer pressure? So, let us look at question number one. Now, can I have anyone in the house to make a guess on what the keywords are before the gap? Anyone? Anyone wants to just give Any it a show shot? show of hand? Mm -mm. Before the gap. Mm -hmm. Can I try, madam? Okay, Soleha. Can you tell me what are the keywords from the sentence before the gap? The keywords are grow older, peers, and bigger role. Grow older? Peers and bigger role. Mm -hmm. Girls and boys, please take note. The amount of keywords that you should have for gap text would always be three to five words. Mm -hmm. So the keywords grow older, peers and bigger role. Now take note, guys. 
It has to be minimum three, maximum five. Now let's go to the keywords after the gap. Anyone wants to give it a shot? What can it be? The keywords after the gap. Can I give a shot, madam? Yes, Alia. So what are the keywords, Alia? The keyword before the gap are influence, growth, longer, no, and them. Okay, this is after the gap, yeah? Influence, grow, longer, and them. Okay, so having said that, Shafika, mm -hmm. always remember the keywords must be three to five. Right. Now, what they need to do next is to look at the keywords. Now, girls and boys, you need to focus only on these keywords. Can you see the lines? All right, you only focus on these keywords in the two different boxes. All right, you have your red box and you have your purple box. So when you relate to all these keywords, from both before and after, you can start analyzing what would be the best choice, which also has a similar meaning, keyword, with the keywords that we have already selected earlier. So now, who wants to make a guess? What can be the best answer with the best keyword, which links together with these keywords that you have already selected just now? Who wants to give it a shot? Okay. Can I try, my job? Okay, Aisha. What can be the answer, Aisha? The answer is D. Okay, donkey. Aisha, D for donkey. Why did you choose donkey D, Aisha? What's the reason? Because of the word day. Yes, because of the word day. Mm -hmm. And Shafika, if you notice, mm -hmm. now this day is actually referring to... All right, you look here. There, the arrow to the back. And day is referring to the word... Peers. So when oh. you draw the arrow, Shafika, mm -hmm. it will be like an active discussion when you are having your peer feedback with your partner next to you. Mm -hmm. So your friend will definitely ask, why did you choose this? Um, I don't know, but I think that's the answer. That's a very common reality that we have now mm -hmm. in school. Yeah. But having said that, when they know the process, they'll be able to explain why they got that as the answer. So now let's look at the second one, Shafika. Mm -hmm. So this will be the second question. Okay. So we are going to do it DIY, hands on. Yep. So can you please tell me what would be the keywords before the gap for question number two? Anyone? All right. Anyone else now? Can you raise your hand? Anyone? 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 <laughs> Anyone wants to give it a shot? What would be the keywords for question mm -hmm. before the gap? Before the gap. The keywords. Yeah, okay, Aisha. What do you think are the keywords, Aisha? Um, I think she's uh, figuring mm. it out. All right, so let me help. <laughs> what, what, what is it? Do you want to try, Aisha? You can try, give uh. it a go. Her camera is like, okay. Okay, Aisha. So what are the keywords, Aisha? Okay, so the keywords here Oops. would probably be how, mm -hmm. how, act, yes, yes. behavior, and food. Sorry? How, act, how, act dress, dress, behavior, and effect. Ref dress. Mm -hmm. And effect. Okay, and we she have said behavior. one, two, three. Yes, behavior. Ah. So when they can identify the keywords, mm -hmm. now wait until they go to the next after the gap. So what should be the keywords after the gap, girls? Anyone wants to give it a shot? What are the keywords after the gap? Can I give a shot, madam? Yes, Soleha. So what are you? What are the keywords, Soleha? From this sentence, the, key, the keywords are positive, negative, pressure. Okay, negative pressure. So, mm -hmm. having said that, Shafika, yes. when they have already circled the keywords, now the next step is just to focus on this words that they have already circled. So, mm -hmm. they will not be distracted by other words anymore. Don't look at other words. Okay, so now what will be the answer, guys? Would it be F or C? Okay. Anyone? Can I give it a shot, madam? Okay, Lily, what do you think the answer is? I think the best answer is F. Okay, why do you say F, Liliana? Lily. It's because of the answer from because of the keywords from the answer, which is this. Okay, this. Okay, now what does this refer to? Now this is actually referring to the word effect. Mm -hmm. So when you have already found the correct answer, always ask yourself. So what was the keyword that made you chose 
F. So the keyword was effect, and the arrow should be pointing to the back, Shafika. Mm -hmm. Because she referred to the word effect, effect, and the effect comes from the sentence before the gap. So that is literally how it works when you answer gap text. So the thinking process needs to be well executed. Right, Madam. Well, this is a step-by-step -step that Madam is uh, sharing with us. I hope you get a lot of um, uh, tips from there and follow the steps. Make sure you follow the steps because it's important to uh, know and uh, give the right answer, right, Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, Shafika, now yeah. for the next activity, let us everyone open up your textbook, page 136. Now, let us just do um, this question, yeah? So, can I have somebody to please read out the sentence and tell me what are your keywords before the gap? Anyone? Okay, can someone read for us, please? Can I try, madam? Okay, Aisha, read it out and tell me what are the keywords. Go. Because of the roadworks in the area, the electricity has been disconnected. Okay, so what are the keywords before the gap, Aisha? Mm -hmm. The keywords are road, roadworks, Electricity and disconnected. Yes, road works, electricity and disconnected. Good job. So now let's go to the sentence after the gap. Can I have someone to read the sentence and tell me the keywords? Can I give a shot, madam? Okay, Soleha, over to you. Read out the sentence, girl. How annoying. Welcome to the world of disadvantaged communities. Good. So, Soleha, what can be the keywords, Soleha, after the gap? The keywords are annoying, mm -hmm. work, disadvantage, and communities. Good job, girls and boys, viewers out there. Madam, how can I tell what are the keywords? Easy. You just have to ask yourself, what is this sentence trying to tell me? What is the main idea from the sentence? Got it? So you only look for the important words. Now let's go to the next one. Question mm -hmm. number two. Can I have anyone in the house to read me the sentence and tell me what are the keywords before the gap? Anyone? Okay, who's next? Let's try, madam. Okay. Uh, Alia, all right, over to you, Alia. Read out the sentence and tell me the keywords. Welcome to the world of disadvantaged communities. Okay, so what are the keywords, Alia? The keywords are disadvantaged and communities. Spot on. So the keywords are annoying, world, mm -hmm. disadvantaged and communities. Shafika, is it right. necessary to have five words? No. No. You gave a range. Exactly. Mm -hmm. As long as if you can find three words and that's it, well, it's done. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we have come to the last question mm -hmm. for today. Now, let us look at the sentence after the gap. Can someone read me the sentence and okay. share me your keywords? The last one for the segment. Yes. Can I give it a try, madam? Yes, Lily. Okay, read out the sentence and tell me your keywords, girl. Areas that have no access to public utilities, such as electricity, are known as off-grid. All right. Now, what can be the keywords from this sentence, Lily? Mm, the keywords are areas, no, access, public, and utilities. Exactly. So, areas, no, access, and public utilities. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, Shafika, they have already found the keywords, and we can start looking for the best answer. Ah, okay, there you go. And the key for today are key words. Yes. That's exactly key what words. Madam uh, Fariliza have emphasized throughout the segment. Now, we're going for a short break first, but we'll be right back here on Didit TV, KPM. <laughs> ah.